does somebody want to summarize where we're at after the last session? I have a confession. I honestly don't remember. Ah! <laughs> okay. I'm pretty. Uh, I remember. Okay. Just a lot of fighting. Yeah. So it you, looks like I'm looking at the screen and there's just all these dead bodies everywhere. Right. It was just adventuring and killing. You have journeyed into the Sunless Citadel in search of uh, two children of a merchant in a nearby village. And the, um, give me just a second here. For some reason I have trouble with these, these names even after all this time, but I'll, I'll have it in a second. Um, yeah, their names are Taljan and, um, and Carowin. And you've learned that one of them has actually been killed already, or at least the rumor is that one of them has been killed already by, a, uh, by the goblins. But another one has been taken down uh, to this lower level of the Sunless Citadel where... There's some kind of crazy cl cleric or some kind of crazy uh, druid that is living and doing something that involves tree fruit that comes from this seemingly dead tree, except it's not really dead. It's called the Gultheus tree. You don't really know a whole lot else except you've explored now a part of this lower level and you've discovered that there's this fungus and that there's these plants that are growing everywhere. Uh, there's a few creatures that, as far as you know right now, don't seem to have a whole lot to do with a tree or a fruit or anything that are dwelling on the edge of it. But as you started moving toward the center, which is where all of your characters are located right now, you've discovered some kind of an operation where things are uh, being grown uh, and where goblins are apparently being employed by this uh, crazy druid to assist him in some experiments that uh, are a little bit unseemly, at least. Uh, you've uh, kind of met this. You've met, you've kind of just finished taking out a lot of goblins that were working in the central area that seems to be some kind of a work area. Uh, but you don't know a whole lot more about it than that. At least that's the use that's being made out of it right now. But as of uh, this point, you haven't run into the Druid uh, or into any definitive proof about exactly what he's up to down here. And that's about where we left off. So I believe we haven't really explored this area at all. We just kind of got to finish defending ourselves and haven't really looked around. So I think we're all clear to kind of look around a little bit. So I'll go look at this top right room. Okay. Yeah, that, that room is already open. Already and, open. and you can see uh, through the doorway there that... Um, there's uh, a few weapons that are lying, just kind of laying around on some tables in that room. There's Anything good? Some of the, well, there's five scimitars. There's six short bows. There's about 40 arrows. arrows. Uh, it might have a little bit of value if you wanted to try to throw some of them in your pack. Are the now. arrows pretty standard? Like, are they good arrows? Are they bad arrows? Are they average? No, they're they look like they're they're in pretty good shape. As do the short bows. The scimitars okay. don't look like they're quite uh, in the same shape. So I'm gonna take uh, thirteen arrows because I've, that's how many I've fired so far in our campaign. Okay. So, so I can fill up my quiver. Okay. What do the scimitars look like? Shape -wise. Um, they're, they're they're kind of these curved swords, uh, but they're beat up. I mean, the, you see the goblins; they're all carrying them around, um, and they don't take very good care of them. Okay, 
Alright, everything in meters is just making a Skyrim joke, but okay. Yeah. Huh. Are any of the short bows better than my short bow, which is very average? No. They're cool. they're just standard short bows. I kind of scoff in this room and just turn around and leave. see anything through this door right above me? It looks, it looks like, like they're, they're all open, open already. Yeah, yeah, they are open, so let me just kind of reveal that one. That one um, has just some goblin armor laying around on the floor with some tools beside it. Uh, looks like maybe the goblins that had been in there before you had been repairing the armor. Uh, not much else. I mean, just really crude tailoring tools, and that's about it. I'm going to come in here real quick and just knock all the stuff off the table. Oh boy. Make more noise. Attract more enemies. My token. All right. Yeah, I need to get your token here. Um, let me get you one out here. There we go. I'm back. I'm out of the All right. So I get, looks like Gl Glory may be checking this room out. Oh, have we already been in this room here? Yes. Dead stuff, so I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. They left a trail of bodies everywhere they went. Yeah. I think that. I also see there's one body down here, like at the bottom. Is so that where you came in? That one? You, they, they actually, you actually came in uh, right here. Yeah. Wait, wait. I got right it, here. I got it. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, you, you don't know about any of this stuff, do you? Uh, we're, me and uh, me and my dad were doing a mic check before this um, before this playthrough, and I looked at the map and I was like, "Did I enter the correct game?" I had no clue where we were. I was just afraid I had entered an old game. Yeah. Okay, but you guys have gone to the north end to the south. I see. Yeah, we we came in through the hole right here. And, and then there was a big old fight with a bunch of baddies, and we cracked some skulls, and it was real, real cool. Yeah, we did. And then, we were um, way we, down. there was, like, some, some goblin, goblin stuff going on that came from here, and then we, like, peeked, peeked our head in there, and we were like, nah, that's, that looks lame. And so we, then we went south, and there was, like, this big, like, rift in the stone, and you can see the path is, like, disjointed. And so we were like, oh, that's kind of cool, and then we investigated that. And that brought us down here to this place. And inside here was a crazy, like, uh, chicken, lizard, salamander scale thing. And it fire was hanging snake. out. Yeah. Yep. The fire, fire snake. snake. And, the fire snake. And, that. and that was kind of, that was okay. I don't know. Um, and then we didn't skin it or anything, I don't think. And then we, oh, then we went down to this place with a dragon statue. And we were like, oh, snap, another dragon statue. And then we, like, pulled on it and stuff. And nothing happened. So we were like, okay, screw this. And then we went north up here to this place and then got in a big fight with a bunch of goblins. And now here we are. All right. Cool. We did a lot. That's what had happened. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. What's in this north room? Uh, the, north, the northwest room has a lot of cots on it. There's no one sleeping on any of them. But it looks like it's just kind of a makeshift barracks, probably, for some of the goblins. Well, that leaves this one here. Let's All right. Down here. So the southwest room. Um, has. Um, has what looks like is some kind of a really crude process for trying to create wine casket and create wine but it looks like they're trying to make it out of roots and pulp it doesn't look terribly attractive uh, but some people apparently they apparently throw stuff into that barrel and squash it all down 
Yeah. And um, not it's not very appealing. It's had goblin feet on it, and you know, it's it's not really great vintage fruit to begin with to create wine. This doesn't, doesn't sound good. good. Are we, are we talking, talking better, better or, or worse than prison wine? wine? This probably is worse than prison wine. Really? I'm going to say prison you know, wine is at least the cast off wine that comes from the inns and places like that. And this is some kind of really nasty stuff that uh, goblins drink instead. Is my prison wine better than the stuff in that canteen? Oh, yeah, I have that. <laughs> 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 better or worse than the canteen brew? It's probably the same stuff. You should dump it in there and see what happens. Did we even taste, taste that? that? Did no, taste we that? smelled it. I think I, I still have it, right? Yeah, I think I still have it listed in my inventory here. Yeah, you've still got it. I mean, you can... Let's compare. Let's <laughs> smell. Let's take a whiff of both. Yeah, let's do that. Let me get in here. So I take the flask out, open it up, and kind of smell, and then lean over and smell the thing in front of us here. Okay. Um, they both smell about equally vile to you. So uh, this goblin that we killed earlier probably just had a little bit of this in its flask. Mm. This is important. I'm glad we know this. <laughs> yeah, I know this is favorite also the gameplay. Um, uh, also, Michael, I was a correctional officer for a little while, and the prison wine, the stuff that they make, is impressively good. Is it really? Yeah, because I mean, we confiscate it every time, and you have to try it to make sure it was actually alcoholic. <laughs> Did you have to try it to make sure it was alcoholic? I tried it one time, just because, you know, what's a good story to say, I drank prison wine. Professional curiosity, obviously. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And it wasn't great, but it wasn't awful. Okay, good to know. <laughs> so this is definitely worse than prison wine. All right, moving on. All right, so what next? I walk up to Loki and I say, I will pay you 10 gold to take a sip of this. Do it. Loki does exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh man, I can't see the camera. Uh, let me look at my inventory. How much is this worth to me? And <laughs> worth 10 gold? 10 gold. That's pretty good. You got you yourself, yourself a deal. deal. <laughs> and right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take uh, just like a, a flagon that I carry with me out of my uh, my backpack. You would have a flagon with me. I've got, I've got like six flagons. Are you kidding me? And I dip it down into the slightly worse than prison wine mixture. And I'm just going to... How much do I have to drink? Like a sip. Ah, I'd take, take a sip. All right, make a constitution Ooh, check. I forgot you were a dwarf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> constitution save. No, no. That's all right. I have a really good constitution. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's a failed save. Um, <laughs> so you get it like about halfway down and then bloop, it comes right back up and uh, on 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 the floor splashing up onto sugar cane <laughs> no <laughs> that's oh, what you, you get, get. <laughs> <laughs> okay. i start as as, as, as the, the vomit, vomit is spewing, spewing out of me, I reach, start, start reaching for the gold. gold. I'm just like reaching for it, sir. Oh, you don't get it. You, I said you, have, you have to swallow the gold. The yeah. no, 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 that no, that's, that's not what you said. Hey, uh, and okay, you get the gold. You get the gold. <laughs> You're damn right, I do. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you didn't say it had to stay down. That's fair. That's absolutely. <laughs> Now, one thing I, I didn't mention about the room with the weapons in it to the northeast is there is a door that leads off to the east from that one. Right. Yeah, yeah I, can I can see that, that there. there. So that's, we either go that way or we go back up to this. Is there, isn't there like a little cave thing we can go up here? Yeah, we could go that way. I'd say we 
Probably so you should at least check, check the door. door. Yeah, let's check, like, check this door. Yeah, let's check the door. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I can think of a few things. So I'm gonna. So everyone, stay a little bit of hands. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mage hands. Mage hand it and open the door from. Oh, that's, that's, an, that's another, another thing. Is Grilamir has magic hands and now he magic hands all the yeah. time. Yeah. I can mage hand. He magic hands everything. Yeah. I can open the door from far away. So the door opens up and there's this little bitty chamber. Oh, that's it. On the other side of it, and then there's another door on the side of that chamber. It's a, but the floor is just, it's dusty. It looks nasty. Little flagstone on it, uh, but it looks no different than uh, the floors in any other rooms. Okay, can, can I, I just, just like, like mate, stand here where I can see and kind of like put some pressure? I can put ten pounds of pressure with it. I think so. Just kind of like put it on the floor, and make sure there's no traps or anything. Um, there's no when like when you put pressure on the floor you don't notice anything okay and then you guys want me to go ahead and open another door yeah I'm just gonna come in by you though okay so I'm still I haven't gone in that first door but I'm gonna go ahead and open that second okay so you open the second door and it kind of creaks a little bit it's like as it's opening and you see through what looks like a much larger chamber there's Ooh. some uh, there's some kind of fungus growing again on the opposite side of the chamber some of it glowing and you hear this sound that's like brush brush scoop and then brush and then it stops and you kind of hear feet shuffling a little bit. And then a few seconds later, the feet kind of shuffle up to the door. And you see this bugbear that looks like it's holding a shovel looking around at the corner at you. And it gets this surprised expression on its face. Ah, you gotta be more stealthy. Um. Quick, Quick. what do we do? <laughs> with an arrow. So he, so it's pretty, pretty clear, clear that he sees us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and roll his initiative. You would all do be wise to roll your own initiatives. Uh, boom! Finally, some good initiative after rolling like three all last week. We. God, everybody don't have right. glory yet. Did you select your token before you rolled, Lexi? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay. Every, everybody's in. All right. So here we go with Graylamir. All, right, All right. So we'll go ahead and take out. I'll take out my short bow. Okay. Um. I'll move. Do I have a pretty good shot from if I move right here in the corner? Yeah, he's going to be in partial cover. This is going to increase his armor class a little bit, but um, it's it's still a decent angle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. How many, I have plenty of speed, I have plenty of speed, I think. So, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go thirty to right here, and we're not going to run by him. Never mind. Disregard all that. Um, I'll just I'll take a shot out of him right there. Okay. Nice. Crit. What? Nice. So did you crit? Yes, you did crit. So that, go ahead and roll for your damage, which we got eight points of damage. All right, so this shoulder, just this uh, arrow just goes, shoots straight across the room and thump right through his shoulder. Cool. And then I will use um, my bonus action. So I'm going to now I'll move and I'll use my bonus action to, or not my bonus action, what's it called? Um, 
whatever second level I have to use disengage to get by him. Okay. You go right here. Okay. So once you get into the room, you're able to get a little bit better perspective. Right. Um, it kind of shifts down. You can probably 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, you could see down this far. Any enemies? And you don't see anything else in there at the moment. So, so if it's in action, like if I wanted to look at Ekrin, give him like a, a size zero sign to let him know there's nobody there. Yeah, you can do that as a free action. Okay. So I look at Ekrin where it looks like he can still see me. Just give him a zero. Okay. Okay. So Ekrin's got the all clear, and it is Sugarcane's turn. Okay, I am going to. Not really in a great position. What is my speed? Oh, 25. Okay, so. I could be here. Yeah. So I guess I'll. I'll um, why can't I move my toe? Oh, I'm still in the measuring bag. Okay, so I'll move here. Okay. And I guess I will use produce flame. Okay. Do you want to engage it, or do you want to try to use produce flame without being engaged with it? Because you moved right up next to it, so if you move away, it's going to make it hard, a little harder to hit him. If you're not engaged with him, because he's got that door for cover, but if you want to engage him, it'll be easier to hit him. Yeah, I'm going to engage him. Okay. It's like the mirror's already in there, so it's okay. Is that a hit? So at 17, that is a hit. Nice. What? Nice damage. I like, I like to, to imagine, imagine that Sugarcane casts a spell right before the spell goes off. There's like an explosion of confectioner sugar. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then the spell happens. <laughs> Yeah, so this flame just goes off in his face, and he roars, and he has to kind of use his hands to beat it down off of his face. Nice. And now that's going to be the end of Sugarcane's turn. I guess you had five more feet. You could disengage. That's going to provoke an attack of opportunity, though, if you do. No, I used all of my... Didn't I? I, think I thought you used 25, but anyway, I you may want to stay there anyway, so... I'll just stay here. Okay, Ekron's up. Okay. <clears throat> so, question: Am I big enough that if I run through here and like tackle him, is he gonna? Am I gonna get served? Dude, you're a dragon. Do it. So, are if, if you try to tackle him, then what's going to happen is we're gonna do. Um. We're going to do... Uh, athletics. Yeah, we're going to do a... Uh, let's see, how, here we go. Yeah, it's going to do an opposed athletics check. And uh, if you're successful, then you can knock him to the floor and kind of have him pinned down. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm rolling this... I'm rolling his save right now. I don't think anybody else can see it. Oh, wait. He needs to make an athletics check, so hang on. I, I rolled the wrong thing. All right, so you get a nine. And he is going to get an 11. It's on a so you more or less kind of bounce off of him and fall back onto the floor. He just looks down at you and roars. Ooh, that's intimidating. I have an action or does that count as my action? Is that that's, that counts as your action, yeah. Uh, you might have some movement left. I didn't measure how far it was. Dude, you got rocked. Mm -hmm. That was not supposed to happen. 
Um, I can... I don't know how to get where I want to be. Actions yet, so... Chewing noises are super loud. <laughs> That's probably me. It's a web. I guarantee it's that. Oh. <laughs> okay, so is Ekron, are you done, Ekron? Because I don't have a. Um, I don't have a bonus action yet. That's all I can do. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, the, the bugbear is going to, after you kind of bounce off of him, it's going to roar back at sugar cane. And, um, and attack her with its, uh, With its its uh, club, so here we go. It's a morning star or glide, glaive, I guess. Um, so mm -hmm. that that is ten slashing damage. Cane To sugar cane, yeah. In protection thirteen still is. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. We we didn't check to see. A 16 is going to hit. Oh, but she's got disadvantage. So what is your what what what's your armor class? Are you are you there, Becca? I have to step away to get salt. I don't know what's going on. Okay. What's your armor class? You just got you just got hit with a glaive by an angry bugbear. He's got rocks. Okay. Um. Let me see what my armor is. I am at, I'm a ten, so that's not good. So that's a hit. So you're gonna take so ten. Is. You're gonna take ten damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, it's half my damage. That's okay. Freaking is between me now. We should have suited you up with some of that goblin armor back then. Yeah. About the same size. We should have just like tied all those scimitars around you. <laughs> yeah. So when it hits you, he would take damage. Become a panther again. All right, it is Glory's turn. I'm gonna move to the side of Ekron, and then I will. Give me just a second. Stab at him with my short sword. What? Just a second natural twenty. Limit. Another hit. Does it build the crit into that? I'm looking at it. I guess it does. Yeah, it rolled twice. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, so that is going to be another 10 points of damage against the bugbear. Yeah, so you just stick it right into his gut and back out, and he kind of staggers back. He's not dead yet, but you definitely tell you've got him on the ropes now. Okay. Um, okay, well, then I will go ahead and spend a key point. Oh, just kidding. Summon the Iron Fist. Then that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, so you're not going to spend the key point then? I don't have any. Oh, you don't have any, oh. so never mind. Okay. So that gets us to Bloki's turn then. Okay. Um, okay, what do I have? Okay. 20 
Nice. Just bumming on his shoe. <laughs> that will finish him off. It might. I'm going to come in here right next to Sugarcane. And I'm actually going to use my crossbow because I don't I don't want to use the thunder cannon because I'm afraid it might attract more gabos. So I'm going to use the crossbow, light crossbow. Here we go. But that doesn't hit. That is a miss. Dang it. Uh, okay. That's all I can do. All right, that gets us to the top of the next round with Grey Lemire. Let's do another short bow. Take a shot. Hey. That'll do it. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, so that, that one just goes right between his eyes. And he falls back against the floor defeated. We are out of combat. You got anything valuable on him? Mm -hmm. He's he's got that uh, that glaive that he was fighting with, but that's about it. What is a glaive? It's like a it's been like a curved sword, kind of like a. Yeah, let me see, right. let me see if heavy, I can shoot. Heavy two-handed sword. Curved sword. Damage 1d10. Oh! That's kind of awesome. I don't think I can do anything with heavy weapons. I think I'll, I'll pick it up and carry it with me at least. That's an interesting thing for a bugbear to have. Okay. I wonder if he was using that to like harvest mushrooms or something. Ooh. Hmm. What's going on with the mushrooms down here? Yeah, he had a shovel and he was doing something down here. Yeah, so looking around, it's, it's just more this luminescent fungus. Some of it's on the ceiling, some of it's on the walls, some of it's on the floor. And it just kind of creates this, uh, this, this eerie kind of glow. Uh, in this room that has all of these uh, carvings on the wall. Most of the carvings are covered. You can't even make what they are. But you can tell a few of them are like uh, more pictures of dragons. Just more depictions of dragons. In this case, it's these mural type things that show them raining fire down on, uh, on uh, terrified people and villages and farms and places like that. As you look around the floor, you can also see there's just a few plants that are growing. There's not a lot of light to support the growth of plants, but as best you can tell, they're trying to grow a few plants on the floor as well. And there's some gardening implements toward the southern end of the room. Sugarcane. So, so you can now see that there's a southern wall that looks really thick, really big and thick. And then there's an eastern wall and there's a northern wall. Sugarcane, whatever they're using to fertilize these mushrooms, I you get, get down. I don't think you want to be standing there. <laughs> That's not good. There but it's go. glowy, so I want to taste it. <laughs> I, I cannot advise that. Do not do that. <laughs> Speaking from experience. Don't taste strange things in don't, caves. You don't taste strange <laughs> things in goblin caves. So there's a door to the north, to the east, and to the south, right? That's correct, yes. So, do we already know as much as we can about, like, the fungus-y stuff uh, growing around here. 
or it's yeah i mean you, you could have a look at it and see if you could you know you could make a a check on uh, probably n nature let me see the look at the skill list here you could make a check with um it'd probably be a nature check and nature intelligence check if you want to try to learn more about them why not nature is my best trait and i have not gotten to use it once so here we go Yeah, so you surmise, you don't really know a lot about this fungus. You know it's something that grows a lot in this place that's called the Underdark, which is this massive uh, chain of caves and tunnels that runs all underneath uh, the Forgotten Lands, just miles and miles and miles of it. And you know this is pretty common that it grows in the Underdark. And you surmise from the way they have the fungus positioned that they're trying to create light sources so that they can grow plants. Oh. So it, it, it glows? The fungus glows, but then there's also some dirt on the floor and there's, there's, they're trying to grow plants, probably using the light from the fungus. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop up a handful of the fungus and like rub it on the end of my tail. So that my, makes my tail all glowy. <laughs> I just have sugar cane and I say, okay, how poisonous are these mushrooms? <laughs> uh, what did he, he just, just do to himself? himself? Yeah, but it, it doesn't really seem to have any kind of an effect. It doesn't really even create much of a glowing effect, to be honest, because it just kind of breaks apart and falls to the ground instead of sticking to him. Mushroom crumbles all over his tail. It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Well, you tried. And failed. I think you should get your magic hands ready, Jake. Okay. There's doors to be opened. We need your magic hands. Hold on, my map just got weird. Where are oh, my we? Is back. I can't yeah, I just did a, the reconnect thing because I couldn't see any of you guys. Are we going north? I'd say that's, yeah. Y'all should probably back up then. Right, that's kind of defeats the purpose of the mage hand. I back up, and as I do so, I reach into my bag of holding and I pull out a plastic bag and on top of it is a sort of twisty mechanism and I twist it off. I unscrew it and I open up the bag and I pull out a slice of bread and I start eating it. <laughs> that was the most elaborate explained snack of all time. <laughs> I thought you were going to scoop up some of that mushroom and rub it on there and then... That's cool. Make, uh, make the old portobello sandwich. Unbelievable. All right. Mage hand, let's open the north door here. All right. Here we go. That's not a good thing. You said <laughs> And here we go. And you said it like we're about to die. And so what you see is a, another room that looks very similar to the one that you're in right now except it doesn't have a dead bugbear as far as you can tell. Oh gosh, can I, I would like to use stealth as stealthily as possible and creep into this room. Okay. Do I need to do a check? So, at, no you do not. Okay. Uh, as you move further in, you're able to eventually find out, it's basically a mirror version of the other one, but does not, well it's not a mirror version, but it's it looks very similar to the, the room you just walked out of. Right. And um, same fungus growing, trying to grow plants in it, uh, some farming type implements laying around everywhere, uh, door to the north, and then another one leading out to the east. Hmm. Well, 
they need so many mushrooms? I don't like how many doors we have now. Yeah, I know. I'm indecisive. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of follow Grailmere and some right to the middle of the room. I think we should check out this one. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Sure. Met to the east. It's just a bigger room that connects like this top east and the bottom east. Does that make sense? If I mean, then we need to prepare ourselves. If it's that big room, I feel like it's gonna come with some consequence. Probably. Can I, uh, can I use uh, my divine sense to see if I can detect any anything that's desecrated or grody? Is that charisma? Yeah, let me see the uh, divine sensibility. Uh, if if you can if you can display it in chat. If not, you can just tell me what it is. How long has it been since we've rested? In a minute. I'm not sure. Does anybody have uh, indications that they've lost powers or hit die? It's, I think. It yeah, was before it hit die, so I think we've used all. Okay. It's been a while. Let's. I mean, I'm all for like heading back into one of these rooms down here, so we're a little bit more hidden and taking a rest, especially because sugarcane is like half health right now. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, I might be able to heal myself. Yeah, I've got all my lay on hands points too. I mean, yeah, that's fine too. I just I feel like I should prepare a little bit more in case we run into ninety goblins again. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So, do we want to rest, or you guys want to try and do some lay on hands, or? Oh. Um... Wait, are you talking about doing a short rest? Is that what you're saying? Well, I always get, like, we would have to do a hit die and a short rest, right? To gain points, but a long rest. Get a minimum of, like, five points on a short rest, on a long rest. That's the one thing I always forget, is exactly what rest do. On a long rest, you, you'll get all your hit points back. Right. On a short rest, it depends on how many hit dice you have left and how many you roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have one hit die. I have zero. But my let's um. Doing all right. What do you what, so? What do we want to do? I'm good with whatever. I just thought we might want to heal up a little bit. Well, let me do let me do my divine sense first, because then if we do a short rest, I'll get it back. Yeah. Good idea. Whoa. Yeah. Is that good? I mean, it's not bad. It's good if it works. There's something around. I've seen worse. Is Matt still there? Okay, yeah, I'm still here. Yay. Um. Yeah, so... Um, I'm trying to figure out why you have to do the check. Oh, maybe you don't have to do a check. Yeah, yeah I don't. Just, yeah, I, yeah. I just made an assumption. I don't think, I think you have just, to. I just that that was what had me confused. I can use it. That's what it is. All right, so Ekron kind of steps up to the door and places his hand on the wall, and he just gets this creeping, crawling sense of dread in his stomach, like what? there is there is what? something desecrated and unholy behind this door, should... just like he knew all along. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Where'd it go? Dragon Sense. Dragon Sense. That's where you wanted us to go. Oh, I just, yeah. where did you want us to go? I look I look at Ekron with like my mouth full of bread and breadcrumbs all in my beard and I say, How could you do that? And by Dragon the way sense. by the way, this is uh this is a presence of something that's undead. There's something undead oh, behind great. the door. He knows that as well. Uh, well, we've had good experiences with undead things in the past. 
I, I definitely need a nap now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I could use my lay on hands before we, if, if we're gonna take a nap, or before we, if we don't take a nap, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Yeah, we should rest. Beneficial to everybody, because everybody's taken some hit points. Yeah. So, let's go down this room right here. Is that, or do you want to go to more, one of these? This one over here has only one door. So Yeah, one with one entrance. Yeah. I'm going to, like, lay right here, but lay my tail kind of, let my tail kind of go across the doorway, so I'll, I'll get, I'll be detected. Like an alarm. Somebody comes in, they'll step on me, and I'll be the first to respond. That's smart. I like it. I could have, I should have kept my ball bearings and I could have left them there like a home alone trap. <laughs> Wait, what did you do with the ball bearings? Um, I went overkill. I had a really good idea early. Decided, I tried to make it even better and I failed. And I lost all my ball bearings. Wait, do I remember uh, that? Didn't you use them and then you picked them up? You were there. I, it would have taken a, like an hour. Oh, okay. I was there. Like a thousand of them. No, I didn't. I didn't bother. I, was... I didn't deserve him anymore. <laughs> I'm in the room, and then we took both of them out and like one yeah. hit. Like, okay, so I... with a long rest, we get our hit points back. Yes, uh, you successfully complete a long rest without any in in uh, intrusions, and, and you get hit and back. you get. You get hit die back equal to half of, what's the rule exactly? Let me, I can tell you exactly what the rule is. I think I can tell you exactly what the rule is. Um, all lost hit points and hit dice up to half the total number. Oh, really? So, um, whatever your total number of hit dice is, you can recover up to half of that. So the total number is three, right? Because we're level three. Yeah. Yeah. So I, we can get we can gain one. Not one and a half, obviously. That's not a thing. But we get all our hit points back, right? That's nice. Yeah, yeah you get you yeah. get all your yeah. lost hit points. And then you get hit hit dice up to half of your total. Okay. Everybody healthy. Ooh. We get our abilities back. We get our spell slots back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, it looks to me like Sugarcane didn't. Did you recover oh. all yours? You all your hit points? half of our current hit points sorry okay so there's a difference between hit points and hit dice so you get all of your hit points back but then you have a space on your sheet that says you have a certain number of hit dice that you can okay. use to recover on short rest you only get half of those back okay, I see what you're saying so yeah you can go all the way back up to your total hit points So what next? Okay. You want to go you back to, to that door and then as you can it, but like try to be stealthy about it so we don't... Well, if we're going in that door, I have an idea, but should we explore other doors first, maybe? Or do you guys just want to go on in? I get the divine sense of the door up top, too. It's up there also. That is that a first level spell? Um, it's, I got it, it's not a spell, it's, I can use it, uh... Oh, it's just an ability? I can use okay. one plus, what's my charisma modifier? I can use it three times before, uh, before rest. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with that. If you want to go up north, we also got the two doors down south. I'm guessing, uh, Lancer's probably right, that the two doors to the east might be one big old room. 
entire time. So yeah, I'm down. I'm down with going way up here. Okay. You guys gonna follow? I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna go up to this door and use my divine sense again. Okay. Okay. Um, unlike the other room, you don't get a sense of anything that offends uh, your uh, your sense of goodness and rightness in this particular room. Dragging my sensibilities. There could still be goblins in there. There's just not undead. Yeah, I ain't scared of goblins no more, though. <laughs> um, what do you guys think? You want to go in here? I'd rather fight goblins than fight a dead guy. You're right. All right. So I'm up on this table just in case. Yeah, I'm going to stand. Let's get. Well, yeah, I'll stand over in the corner here. Then Mage Hand open this door. The, the northern door? Yeah, right there. All right. So you open the door and you're able to see in more fungus lying all across the floor. About where are you located? You're. Eh. I'm in the corner, so I probably can't see yeah. that much. So between Ekron and Graylamir, they can see this much. So is it pretty dark where there's not this fungus? Like, so if we're standing in the doorway, or is it pretty dark there? Or can something see us? Um, conceivably, if there's something in the dark and it has dark vision, it's going to notice that the door is open and That's see through. Dark vision. Also, the fungus, it's got more glowing fungus, which is going to assist in their visibility. Let's, um... I'll do a stealth, like, Tom Cruise Mission Impossible roll through the door and try and stay, like, over here. Okay. And get and get a view of the whole room. All right. So what you see in this room is basically this octagonal shape and lots and lots of fungus just all over the floor. But there is nothing else that you can make out that's in here. Okay, so I'll pick back around the door and say it's empty there is a door over here in the southwest oh gosh another door <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna run into this room and like slide and roll around in this fungus just to see if it sticks <laughs> is it a dragon or a puppy he keeps trying this. no it just tends to break Stay. apart it doesn't really help it doesn't really rub off on you very much so, um, when the fungus breaks, does it lose its glow? Not really, but it doesn't, it doesn't glow as spectacularly as it does when it's kind of a, a coherent whole. Okay. Like a bigger yeah. piece just glows more. The little pieces don't tend to glow as much once they're broken apart. Um... Uh take my blanket out of my priest pack and I'm going to lay it out I'm going to take a bunch of the fungus and I'm just going to put it all in there and I'm going to like tie it up and put it back in my backpack okay later okay do we want to listen to this door yeah do that hmm Not to have the best um to uh, my perception's pretty low i'm gonna while they're doing that i'm gonna go dig around in this fungus i'm just digging I'm just looking they can't there can't be just empty rooms of nothing but fungus they gotta be hiding something in here i like it all right listen so. All right, so go ahead and make a perception check. You don't hear anything behind the door. Bollocks. Nor does does Beloki. I'll 
take a listen. This fungus is completely silent. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> listen. Oh, wow. Okay, so sugar cane for sure doesn't hear anything, mainly because everybody else is making so much noise. Wise cracks about silent fungus and the the sort. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm gonna kind of push through and, and get over to the door over here. Okay. And I'm gonna make a perception check. Okay. Because apparently everyone else is failing. Yeah, you yeah. you likewise hear nothing on the other side of that door. Okay. We're all right. All right. Mage hand. I'll yeah. just go ahead and fling it open. All right. So, creak. And the door pops open, and you can kind of see a small hallway that seems to be opening up after about 5, 10, 15, 20, about 25 feet. This is reminiscent of the target range. Yes, it is. That's where I had my good idea last time. And then I threw ball bearings all over the ground. <laughs> all right, I'll go first. I'll I'm say gonna, super, super stealthy. Gonna, and peek okay. around the On all fours, on all fours, dragon still. I got good stuff, man. That's one of my strengths. I'm on all fours and the fungus just crawling around like, what? Is this place? <laughs> Wait, right. What is it for? <laughs> so Grey Lemire gets to the edge of the room, and this is what he sees. Oh my god. Another, Another statue. statue. <laughs> my people. <laughs> my people. Oh my gosh. It's so big. And you can see uh, what looks like some kind of plate, red plate, that's directly in front of of this particular statue. Put some fungus on it. There's, there's, this is not a room that has fungus in it like some of the others do. So yeah, in truth, unless you have a light source, you're probably not able to see a whole lot. And I have a blanket full of light source. <laughs> yeah, weird. you do have a blanket full of light source. I'm gonna wander, I'm not gonna step on the plate, but I'm gonna wander about right here. I'm gonna get a little, get a little bit closer to my dragon friend, and then I'm gonna take out my blanket and I'm gonna dump it all over this plate. Oh my gosh! Just don't, yeah, don't talk about it at the team. Just go ahead with the dragon plate. I'm gonna dump it on the plate. Oh, these are my people, man. Okay. I'm staying around the corner. I'm no, ready to watch him die. You should probably just step on it. It's all probably right. a plate that only dragon people can step on. That's probably exactly what this is. We don't need five people. So far, we're, so he's far I'm still alive. He's calculating the amount of damage you're about to do. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm glad that I'm over here in the fungus wall. Goodness. I, I did not go around the corner. I need to make that clear that I'm in cover. With, to get away from the explosion that's about to happen. If I can I, get through the fungus, that's where I'm, at. I'm actually <laughs> underneath the fungus. <laughs> you are underneath the fungus. I've dug, I've burrowed a little hole, and I'm down in there. <laughs> oh, okay, so what what is Ekron doing here? Oh gosh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> he's giving you a chance to take it back, basically, because he didn't hear you. Just come in to hang out with my dragon friend here, oh, and then I'm he's... taking my my blanket of of light source out, and I'm dumping the fungus all over this red plate. I swear. Okay. So that I can see what's going on. So the dumbest paladin in the whole world. <laughs> you dump it. You dump it on the plate. Nothing. You look at the dragon. Nothing seems to happen. You look back at the plate. Nothing seems to happen. But then all of a sudden, from behind the statue, oh, you, yes. you <laughs> fucking <Let's> take it <laughs> easy. This um, this uh, shadowy, dark kind of wailing spirit suddenly shoots around the corner and starts rushing toward Ekron. And let's all roll initiative with it having surprise. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my gosh, you're going to die. I'm not even kidding, like, you're going to die. <laughs> Easy. You're going to die, that thing looks like a Dementor. Yeah, it does. I wonder if that's the undead thing. 
There's probably yeah. more of them. Oh my god. did not need to face it. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Alright. Yes! Oh, hey, perfect one. Right. Oh, well, at least it's only gonna get to go twice before it still wrecks you. You don't even get to use that 20. That's way. I have a plan. What plan do you have? Okay, is everybody in? If it involves the fungus at all, it's gonna <laughs> fail. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Just Bloki has spent an ungodly amount of time with the fungus. I have established a lot of findings about the fungus. I know just about everything there is to know. Okay. The shadow is going to attack on its round. And it rolls a nine. Is that's ah. that's probably not sufficient to get past the armor class. Nope. So it's it's just gets straight in front of it. It shrieks, and you can feel your body kind of shaking down to its very core, like it's trying to suck something out of you. And, but but nothing happens uh, because you're you're able to to avoid. You're able to overcome the attack. What the heck is that? And now we go to the top of an actual, the first full round, and Ekron does get a turn here. <laughs> right. You I'm gonna that. use. I'm gonna use a turn undead. Oh snap! No way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is unreal. <laughs> You're the luckiest idiot of all time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even find it. What is, is it? it? Turn it's undead. Like under, turn undead. It's under cleric. I think that's why it's not coming kind up. Of... Is it not on your spell sheet on your character? I can I can try to look and see what what it does. Hang on a second. It's not yeah. even on the D and D Beyond. I've got it right here. It be... Here it is. Yeah, Turn Undead is one of the most classical D and D things there is. I think. I think it's been there like since the very beginning, back in the. It sounds so pretty he's... OG. Yeah. Yeah, he has to make a Wisdom saving throw. If he fails, then he has to run away to try to get away from me. Okay, so he's going to make a wisdom saving throw versus what? That I do not know. It would be versus your um, spell save DC. Oh, here we go. Brett's got it. Uh, actually, present your holy symbol. Wisdom, yeah, wisdom saving throw it, and it's going to be against uh, what, Michael, did you... Is it against my wisdom or my? Uh... I'd say I would imagine it would be your spell save. DC. It's it's yeah. I mean, it's going to be your spell save. I'm sorry, but but um, I don't know what that number is. It's probably It'll what what is your base? What is your base uh, spell casting ability? I mean, what is what attribute do you use for for spell casting? Probably charisma. Charisma, yeah. So then, what's your proficiency bonus? In charisma, uh, plus two. So, uh, so, uh, you probably have. Well, I mean, you do have a plus two proficiency bonus. I know that. And then your charisma is plus two. So it's, it's gonna. Uh, my, my charisma is at four. Your charisma is plus four. For my saving throws, you mean? Yeah, it's at four. Oh, not the saving throw. Yeah. The, uh, the ability. Oh yeah, that's just plus two. Okay, so I think it's a fourteen. I'm pretty sure it's a fourteen. Yeah, that sounds right. So here we go. And oh, he like epically fails it. Yes. And so, um, yeah. uh, so like, I, you're gonna stand up and say, "Leave us, vile thing," or something <laughs> like that. And it's just suddenly gonna shriek in fear and uh, retreat and just kind of vanish through the wall that's behind you. What? Yeah. I like to think he just showered it with fungus. It's like, Ugh. it was a fungus. Fungus fear. Get out of here, you crazy spook. 
Okay. Get this fungus and leave. Ball bearings. <laughs> All right. So we're out of combat. Wow. Unreal. Hooray. <laughs> well, at least you were able to get yourself out of the mess that you got yourself into. There's something. A dragon stealth right there. That's how it works. You got and like the three of you had no idea. This <laughs> crew up here. I, I didn't even know what was going on. on. I watched it from around the corner. So I step out of the corner and I just look at Ekron and I'm like, what did what happened? What did you just do? I asked okay. him where his, where his ball bearings are. So I walk the <laughs> long way around the room, like staying against the wall, <laughs> and I get up to the. I want to just kind of check out this big old dragon boy statue. Okay. Good thing I've got my luminescent fungus there, so you can see it. I have night vision because I'm not a dragon thing. <laughs> it, it is this. It's it's this massive statue, like about ten feet by ten feet, uh, that towers up above the room, up all the way up to the ceiling, uh, that just looms over this tile. And now that you're getting a closer look at it, both Graylamir and Ekran notice that there's some kind of etching letters that are etched on the tile. It's the language of my people. Well, yeah, what language is it? Is it Draconic? It is, it is in Draconic. And it reads, Ekron reads it, it says, let the sorcerer's power illuminate my spirit. Did, did he so, read it out loud so I could hear it? I don't know. Did he? Brett, did you, did you read it out loud? go over here and I'm going to tell these guys what I heard, what I read. You just walk over here. <laughs> 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 Say, don't, don't tell Graylamir, but I just read this thing on this tile. I think that what we need is for Sugarcane to cast a spell or something on that tile. Oh, sure. No, we, we know the tile does. That's not a mystery. <laughs> no, we don't know what the tile does. Yeah, what? yeah, you just put stuff on there, and Shadow. No, but the, the dragon script, and it said, and was about to wreck your soul. I have got no idea what either one of you are going on. About, <laughs> but we need to talk about this fungus. It sounds like okay. Jake is on auto tune. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's all over me. It does sound like Jake's on auto tune right now. Right, yeah, and I mean, Brett's freezing up on mine too, so I'm arguing with I don't know who. <laughs> You're still. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just amazed that. You're yelling in an empty room. We need sugarcane to cast. Oh, yeah, room. you're not even in the room. I'm just sitting here like, you just put your fingers on it. What are you doing? I'm just, I'm just talking to myself. He didn't even read, he could read your product and he didn't even read it. He just, he just went ahead. And... <laughs> I just left you there. Yeah, let's read the instructions after we. Summon the Shadow Lady. Unbelievable. I think one of the side effects of this fungus is that slowly, one at a time, each one of us just goes insane. Really, other doing a stand-up routine. Ekron is in here. What? What? Where you even been, man? What have you been doing? I'm furious. So I'm gonna tell him that we found a statue. There was a, there was a, a lady. Just, just a lady. That's how you're gonna describe. Her. Not some like unholy no deal, vampire shadow. It was no big deal. I sent her away. She wanted to fight. You I talked her, her down. Away. I talked her down. There's so, two sides to every story, and your side is wrong. <laughs> wow, Akrins, you sound really brave. And sounds like you're. Oh, very intelligent. Oh, yeah, great. Let me take it out. He was he was going too slow, so I took care of business. Um, found on the statue there was some writing, and it said I forget what it said, but based on what it said, I have a suspicion that we need to use a spell of some kind on that plate for it to illuminate whatever it's in. I think that's that my people want me to breathe fire on it. I think, but. I think so also, I, I slowly walk into the room at this point. I've heard maybe half the conversation. I don't know if any, but I just look at the others and say, I'm not doing anything he says. And I just 
I'm gonna chill over here. I watched our lives flash before our eyes. If you get lucky. I covered in fungus dust. I just swarm <laughs> out of the room and I say, I gotta see this for myself. <laughs> and I, I walk over into yeah, the room. I'll walk, I'll walk with you. Follow him too. Okay. I'll peek, I'll, but first I'll peek and wave the gray the mirror and then I'll, uh, Lucky I want me to do some sort of a... Uh... Uh, Matt, can you tell us what the, what the engraving said again? Yeah, the engraving says, Let sorceress power illuminate my spirit. I think it was talking about the shadow. My spirit's fine, how it is. See. No well, I sorceress, I thought magic. I thought, like, use magic on the thing and... Spirit. What is this? What, what condition is the statue in, Matt? Compared to the rest of the uh, of the citadel, it's in better shape. It's seen better days as well, but this room doesn't look like it's been disturbed all that much compared to some of the others that you've been in. Like they're they're not trying to grow fungus in here or anything like that. Well, yeah, because there's a shadow lady that comes. I, I'm going to find like a chipped area or a broken portion of the statue. And I am going to reach out and touch it. And I'm going to cast Mending. Okay. Ooh. And as I do so, I also wipe fungus dust on. You got plenty of that. It's like it's like it's like Dorito dust. It's literally all over. So so the statue does indeed mend, but oh, nothing fingers. nothing more happens other than what the effect that you intended, or the immediate effect of that particular spell. Okay. If he's sure he knows how to read. Um. Well, I guess the last thing we can do is uh, me to cast a spell on to the, uh, the happen. I mean, yeah. sorry, yeah. Off once. Okay, before that happens, I think we're overthinking this. Before Set it ablaze. Set it ablaze. I walk all the way to the back edge of the room here. Okay. Not me. I'm, I'm going to stand right by I'm, my dragon friend. I'm back, friend. I'm I'm back here. here. I'm following Grail of Mirror. It's a good yeah. idea. Hang out with me, Dwarf. We're the same spot. We're <laughs> overthinking this. Pressure plate releases a vampire shadow. If any ladies to show up, I don't want to be in the room. Well, I'd love to meet him, and I just, uh, I just produce flame <laughs> onto the plate. Oh, well, I guess that wasn't an attack, was it? Yeah, you, t you don't have to. You don't have to do an attack with it. So yeah, so uh, the plate gets a little bit scorched, and that's about it. Okay, let's move on. Are you are you are you okay, Ekrid? Have you seen enough? I still haven't touched the plate. I, I kind of want to like stand on it. I kind of want to. I kind of want to stand on it just to see if something happens. Dude, if treasure comes out of that dragon's mouth, you're gonna be so mad. It's, it's all okay. yours. It's. If treasure comes out of his mouth. Every bit of it is yours. Mouth is, Grey Lemire gets none. That's exactly if, why they put that plate there. It's a treasure shadow power. Yeah. If a shadow lady comes back out, I'm, I'm, I'm in Grey Lemire saying this out loud. If a treasure comes out of the mouth, you have every penny of it. If a shadow lady comes out, I'm not helping. I'm watching. <laughs> I'll send her after you. Anyways. Well, I'm over here, so. I will turn off the stream. <laughs> <laughs> from going back to the fungus unless <laughs> go for it do your thing yes okay I want to step on it really bad I'm my vote okay so Ekron is now standing on the uh, this, the red spot on the floor nothing seems to happen uh, but you can kind of tell that from standing there, the, the dragon is like looking straight down at that particular spot very intently. Like that's obviously the place of its focus. So you're, you're, if it were alive, your eyes would kind of meet its eyes as you look up. 
uh, what if I and I yell out to Ekron, what did it say again? Something about the sorceress casting something to illuminate the spirit. All right, so all of a sudden those words come out and there's this poof and there's all these sparks that uh, go flying up all around him. And uh, and this flame kind of comes shooting out of the dragon's mouth kind of straight at him, but it doesn't do any harm at all. What? And in fact, uh, now it, you need to, you may want to make a note of this, Brett. Uh, you're going to get advantage on charisma checks for the next 24 hours. Whoa. Is he like sparkling? No, he's not sparkling. He's, he's not like, I've been blessed by the dragon lords. Twilight vampire. They only sparkle in the sun. Come on. Um. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yeah. <laughs> Push Ekron out of the way. <laughs> yeah. I walk up to Ekron and I say, you're, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I reach out and I touch him with my fungus. <laughs> I'll turn the book and I'll see. I'll say, only you may touch the chosen one. <laughs> This is un unbelievable. <laughs> I, I pick up this nail and I just hold it. You know, it's sort of like a wedding gown so it doesn't touch the floor. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm My chest out and I, I look over and I nod at Graylamere. So you want some of this? Graylamere, you want some of this fire? That's. That's all your treasure. I told you it was all yours. <laughs> okay. Well, now that that's over. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let's do that, Dory. Wow. Okay. In which the Banshee woman came, went into. Actually, I think she went. That's why I go over. Time reminder, it's 10 o'clock now. Yeah. Okay, oh, uh, yeah, okay. probably now's a good time to, to stop for the night. Okay. Um, let's go, let's, let's, do, let's go, uh, y'all want to set it again in two weeks on Wednesday night? Uh, Is that good for everybody? That is the, yeah, the 13th. And what we'll do is we'll keep playing until Jake, uh, that until Jake says, "Hey, I'm not uh, starting the next time. I won't have to do it." And then at that point, we'll talk about, "Hey, is there another night or another time?" There, there may not be, but if we can find one where everybody else can do it, right. then okay. we'll we'll switch. All right, cool. uh, let's go with uh, 100 XP a piece per night tonight. Ooh. Well done, Dragon Boy. This is unbelievable. I, I thought you were going to die with that shadow lady. <laughs>